My name is Noel Tierney. I've been farming here since I was 13 years of age. My father died when I was 10. So I've, I've quite a, long, a number of years put here, which, you know, at this moment in time, I'd be probably 59 years, 60 years coming up now on the farm. I played a lot of football, beat in the 63 Senior All-Ireland, won the 64, 65 and 66. And 68 then they dropped a few of the team, which it, the same pleasure wasn't there anymore, you know. And then I was getting busier on the farm. So I retired from inter-county football in 67. But we were burnt out pretty well because it's like anything in life, you know, we had given a few hard years and and again it was it's like a family breaking up when the team when they dropped a few of the team and it didn't mean the same anymore. So that was my footballing finished and I still had lots of energy and that's when I really took into full-time farming. Fergal had finished college and he had a choice whether he would like to come farming with me or go into the job market so his choice was to come farming with me. You know on this farm we have a lot of slatted accommodation and normally on, on this farm in September we kind of go, we go through all the sheds, power hose them, disinfect them and empty out any bits of slurry that's left. And on that particular day we were doing a calf shed and uh, the slurry tank had only roughly about, it was less than a metre, probably only about two foot in it. Putting the pipe into the tank I noticed there was a crust and more or less decided we should give it a quick mix. Proceeded to put in the agitator in the tank and then realising there was one calf in a pen and he was quite close, he was on the slats, the calf. So we said it would be better if we put him into one of the pens where there was no slatted tank. So Fergal went off up the passageway to the other end of the shed and uh, he stood at the open doorway just to turn the calf into the pen. That, that, that is when the, the gas caught us totally unaware, caught me per, you know, personally. And uh, I always had the feeling like if you were going to be gassed, you'd feel you're still getting weak or something. But on that day, I felt totally nothing. After waking up, then my wife came in and uh, then it may be in the next 10 minutes, she just told me the story of Fergal hadn't survived. And you see, the other thing that hit immediately was that, well, maybe not immediately, but in the days following, as memory started to come back, I knew that Fergal was standing on the yard very far away from where I was located. And I knew then at that stage that Fergal had walked in to save me, that I was the first that dropped from the gases, totally unaware, and uh, Fergal came within about three metres of me. And that's where he passed out. The time our neighbour arrived into the shed, lucky for him, it was some time later. And in the period of time of Fergal and myself getting gassed, the gas must have dispersed. And I mean, you see, the thing about the gas is that my, he, he, Michael didn't even think for one minute that his life was in danger coming to rescue us. No more than Fergal never realised the danger when he came to rescue me. And uh, unfortunately, like, that the gas had dispersed when, when, when Michael came into the shed to remove both of us from the shed. This is the frightening thing about it, to think that all this happened and, you know, in such a short space of time. Why did it happen that day and not ha happen at other times? But again, I'll, all, I'll come back to the stillness of the day. And if, if the tank was outdoors, you would have the same problem as indoors. No air movement. Today, there's no way would my son put, a, put an agitator into a tank. He basically would ring the Met Office and see was the, the weather going to continue, what was the, the rainfall be like, or again, down to air movement. I think with that information being available now to people, it's very foolish not to check or to plan that if your tanks are getting to a certain stage, to check out on the weather and air movement, rather than on the morning says we're going putting out slurry and 
Then on that day, it could be just one of those still days or it may be raining, but definitely I would be very, very much aware of air movement on this farm now when it comes to slurry.